President Trump blasting Speaker Nancy Pelosi just moments ago for canceling the State of the Union he was planning to deliver in the House chamber on Tuesday. The State of the Union speech has been uh, canceled by Nancy Pelosi because she doesn't want to hear the truth. She doesn't want the American public to hear what's going on. And she's afraid of the truth. We were planning on doing a really very important speech in front of the House and the Senate, the Supreme Court. So uh, we just found out that she's canceled it. And I think that's a great blotch on the incredible country that we all love. She blamed security, but she knew it wasn't a security problem. I just got back from Iraq. I was very safe in Iraq, and I felt very safe. We had great, great security. If we can handle Iraq, we can handle the middle of Washington. We'll do something in the alternative. We'll be talking to you about that at a later date. But what she's doing to the American people, what she's doing to our Constitution, is a disgrace. What was that movie, Greg? You can't handle the truth. Mm, yes, uh, uh, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I know. I'm joking. Are you asking me a question? No, I'm just <laughs> teeing you up. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm ecstatic. As you know, I'm ecstatic. This is all coming together. I didn't want to go to D.C. D.C. is like the worst ride in America's amusement park. There's no fun in D.C. Just walking oh. tours, <laughs> walking tours. It's the most overrated capital in America, and I include Sacramento in that. This is another thing. You're, thank you, Donald Trump, that he has disrupted and, and, and gotten off our plate. Things that last year was a correspondence dinner. We didn't need that. We don't miss it. We're not going to miss the State of the Union. He should do it skywriting. That's my, my uh, he should <laughs> skywrite the, his State of the Union. Or he should do it in a Twitter thread. That's easy, too. But you don't need this, this stupid uh, pomp and circum pomp and circumstance. circumstance. Thank you. Um, what but would the skywriting say? Build the wall and crime will fall. Yes, exactly. And then, and then we're done. But I mean, he's gotten rid of he's gotten rid of the correspondence dinner, State of the Union. I I think he should get rid of stubborn belly fat oh, and embarrassing right. back fat. Uh, those diarrhea pills that come in the little po pods that you can't open. Get rid of that. TMV. Get rid of that. We're done. What is TMV? DMV. DMV. Oh, and TMZ. Okay, <laughs> TMZ. No, don't get rid of TMZ. We love you, Harvey. Um, so this is a big blotch. He's a big blotch. Because this has never happened before, and he's checked it out, and I don't know if it has. He's saying that he was safe in Iraq when he went during the shutdown. Why can't D.C. be just as safe? Well, I, I always thought that Nancy Pelosi had a stronger argument saying we're not doing the State of the Union until the government's back open, but you and I will work on a date for when the government's back open. We'll invite you down. And she's still kind of saying that. But when her, her first, uh, well, her first letter said, please come give a State of the Union on January 29th. The second one said, I think it would not be a good idea because of security concerns. And he's right. Like, that was lame. The, the security concerns are not real. I think she would have been even stronger at that point to be able to say, no, we're not doing this until the government's reopened. These people deserve to be paid for the work they're doing. So when that's done, you can come back. And he, she sent the first letter during the shutdown, Juan. So the president's yeah. saying, well, why are you using this as an excuse when you invited me during the shutdown in the beginning? Well, I, I don't buy the security thing at all, but I mean, clearly what's going on here is the government's not functioning. There are real issues at play. I mean, you, you stop and look at it. It's not only the, I think it's 800,000 not being paid, the contractors. Uh, today we heard about IRS agents who are not reporting but getting passes so they can go out and get, you know, s small jobs to help pay the bills. FBI says child trafficking, terror investigations are being impeded, according to the FBI union. The airports we know about, the Coast Guard we know about. Uh, you know, to me, this is a, a real problem. I mean, it's even the State Department says they were going to have a conference on border security. They can't have that. So we're, I mean, this is, uh, you know, Senator Mark Warner said, stop stupidity, stop inflicting shutdown, transferring unnecessary pain and inflicting damage. And you see this in the polls. 71% of Americans say, this wall is not worth this shutdown. This is hurting the country. But I think, you know, what's interesting to me, it's hurting President Trump. Well, if, if it's all, not worth it, then you it. should be thrilled. If, 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 I'm not thrilled. I'm kind of <laughs> sad our country's in this place. If all that stuff's happening, though, that you just laid out, why don't Democrats just get on board and support all the stuff that they supported years ago that he's proposing? I mean, they all are on record as having supported not only the border security measures, but now they're having to say no to no, we don't want humanitarian aid, no, we don't want relief for TPS and DACA recipients just because Trump proposed it. I mean, I agree that having all these things stagnant is bad, but what he put forward was something that was completely palatable. And, you know, I think 
Nancy Pelosi, she's a spiteful one sometimes. She is, and she is, and she didn't want Trump to come out. I don't love the State of the Union. I agree with Greg. I think it's boring. I think they somehow make presidents to, for some reason to look like monarchs in that moment. It's, it's painful to watch. But it is an opportunity to get out there and have a, a lot of people tune into something who typically wouldn't tune in. And I don't think she wanted President Trump talking about the aspects of crime and, and the fact that he put forth something that had the DACA relief, that had the TPS relief, so that voters in the middle could say, wait a minute, he did put something forth that could have been passed. To us. Why isn't she biting? Well, let me but just the say thing is, he gave that speech. He gave a, the, a primetime address, laying out all those things except for the stuff that he offered on Saturday. Yeah, and it didn't move the needle at all. But I think for, for, against her. So I that's think that true. like for, if, she, if she's just being politically smart, I mean, I'm not saying that it's like good policy. Mm -hmm. But if you've been politically smart, like why would you move? That's true. But I know a lot of people that tune in. Like I watch news all the time. We watch news all the time. But I know a lot of people that don't watch news yes, a lot. But when it says true. State of the Union, they in. will tune in. But they have no choice. Yeah. They have yeah. no choice. Right. It's on every channel. Exactly. It is. It's oh, yeah, disgusting. You could, you could read a book if you want. But <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people. I, tune I actually in. do read books. But I will say this to you. <laughs> That when you see this argument about crime in the wall that the president was tweeting about today, it is so fallacious. I mean, the statistics say that crime, in fact, violent crime has been down over the last 20 years, even as we've seen the increase in illegal immigrants. Why have All Democrats right. been calling it a humanitarian crisis? It one, is a, what, one. Have you missed Can those I, people scrambling up crime, on though, When they didn't have a wall in El Paso, there was a lot of violent crime. They put the wall up and the crime oh, yeah, dropped. That, yeah. Let's listen to what Chuck had to say about this whole hostage-taking scenario. Or not. The president's proposal is just wrapping paper on the same partisan package in hostage taking taxes. Hostage taking should not work. It's very hard to negotiate when a gun is held to your head. The American people know that President Trump is responsible for the shutdown, and now they have learned that Leader McConnell is a co conspirator. All right, and the president actually called Chuck Schumer a puppet. Of Pelosi. Yeah. So it looks like he's trying to drive a wedge between the two leaders. I, I, the, to use his an analogy, though, we have been, an, uh, Americans have been held hostage by career politicians who, oper who make a nice living off this prison of two ideas. They need us to be polarized on immigration. They need you to, to think that having a wall means you don't like people from Mexico. They need that argument because that keeps them in power. There has to be a way of breaking out of this prison because you can't be pro refugee refugee but also think maybe Absolutely. you should limit you should limit uh merit-based immigration i'm actually more inclined to go with refugees than merit-based because refugees are more grateful so that <laughs> but you can you can actually have a compromise more get grateful. out of this prison no i think that ref, when refugees come here they they make great relief. they make great yeah. citizens but you have to extreme vet see the the compromise here is having a number of tools in that shed, it's not just this or this. It's a, it, that's the prison. You've got to find all these other. Tools. A lot of different clubs in the back. The, yeah, exactly. I, mean, you know I must, means, I must I say, okay. it sounds like you're a Democrat because that's what the Democrats are saying. We can have. Don't you dare! Don't you dare no, no, talk no, about you're right. Greg Gutfeld? You're like right. That. So where are the Democrats? The you're Democrats absolutely are, right. In fact, the Democrats. Why aren't the Democrats bills coming in the House, forward, Greg? They they have come forward, but guess what? McConnell won't bring that forward. Now he's going to have two well, votes tomorrow. Well, he won't bring it forward because the president won't sign it. Yeah, that's exactly. That's so smart. this is like a trap, you know, it's like you can't yes. get out of the trap and poor President Trump, he's stuck in this trap waiting for the far right fringe to give him permission slip to make well, a deal. I'm glad you feel sorry for the, the president. Right. He is. very compassionate. <laughs> it is. Thank right. you. Thank you.